Hi friends! I haven't seen you guys in so long. It's good to be back. I'm going to show you guys a little mini apartment tour and some updates that I've done and that I'm going to do because I want to show you guys how it looks before I do all of these like mini updates. I've been here for nine months and I'm finally a little bit satisfied with how it looks right now but I also need to do a bunch of updates. But yeah, let me show you guys how it looks. I'm excited to show you guys. I call my apartment dreamy, boho, and earthy and I also live in a 400 square foot studio in San Francisco for context. So this is my living slash bedroom area. I have this little day bed right here because I need to separate my bed from my couch slash living area. So this really helps me not stay in bed all the time. And I also have this really big disco ball or half disco ball. Here's my bed. I have a bunch of plants right there on the windowsill. And then I also have a bunch of plants that are hanging. I also have this lamp right here because... I don't know, it's really weirdly placed, but I need some light at night, so I added it there for the meantime. It's just temporary, but it works perfectly for nighttime. I also added this lamp picture. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am obsessed. I got it at Anthropology because it was literally 50% off and I had to get it, so that's the vibe. I have this wallpaper right here. I have this cute little hanging plant right over here. And then I have some boho lights right here because I need some light at night. This is my doorway right here, so it's pretty tiny and cramped in, but I have a lot of plants, so I don't know where to put my plants, so I put them there. I also have this like moon garland thingy right here and some plants right there. I'm gonna replace this mirror with a wreath later because it's the holidays and I would love to have a wreath there, so that's the vibe right now. So this is how it looks when you come into my apartment. There's my bed, there's a fireplace, I have some plants right here. I'm trying to get rid of some plants, but honestly, it's really hard for me, so I just have them everywhere. I have a bunch of hanging plants right there in the corner. This is where my TV is. I have this like cute little moon garland from Urban Outfitters right there, and... This is my fireplace. I added some wood. I'm always switching this fireplace around. Usually I have candles, but it's the holidays, so I added some wood from Target. And then I have this cute little cushion and rug right here. I have a bunch of layered rugs. And then I have this little cord right here because honestly, this is real life. I don't know where to put my plugs in, so it's kind of ugly, but it's okay. It's fine. And then I have my nightstand right here. I have a bunch of books right there. And then this is my heater. So I have no idea what to do right here. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know because I always struggle with my creativity right here because I don't know what to do. But right now, this is how it looks. I have a blanket over it and a plant on top. I have this wall art right here. And then I have my boho mirror right over here. Hi, hello. This is me. I hope you guys are doing so, so well. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. So I have my bed right behind me. And yeah, that is me. I have a bunch of plants. So I have all of these hanging plants right over here. And all of the reflections are just coming from my disco balls. I love disco balls at home, you guys. It's literally a vibe check. Like, you need to have a disco ball now. If you have some sunlight in your apartment and you get some sun rays coming in, might as well get a disco ball because it makes it more fun. Duh. On my nightstand, I just have my earrings. And then I have this diffuser and some pompous grass. And then to the right is right here. This is where my cord is for my TV, so please do not mind it. So I have some plants and my coasters with the elephant on top and some plants, of course. And then over here, as you turn to the right, you can see my living area. And over here to this corner is pretty funny because I haven't been satisfied with this corner, like, at all until now, nine months later. Like, wow, I am so stunned right now because... She is beautiful. So I have my jewelry right here. And then I just have some books and a spray for water for plants. And then I have a plant right there. I have some baskets for storage. And then I just have a plant right there. And then right here in the corner because I don't know what to do with it. I just want to keep it. So left my plant there. I also have a closet here. It's like a mini walk-in closet. But I'm not showing you guys because this is my only storage. And it's a mess in there. So right here's a mini hallway. It's really empty right here. Sorry, that is a temporary spot for my clock. This is just real life. I'm sorry, guys. But I had two of these wall arts that are right here and here. But I just changed it yesterday because it's not going to work out there anymore. I need to find some art here because it is so empty. But yeah, I need to find some art here. Please give me some suggestions. I always have a really hard time finding art. And then over here, I just have this big floor mirror so that I can see what I'm wearing for the outfit, you know, of the day. 
And then I have this cute little rug right here. It's actually a, supposed to be like a wall hanging. So if I show you guys this, look at it. It has like strings or whatever you want to call this. And it's supposed to be for a wall, but I'm using it as a rug because why not? We love texture in this home. When you go past this back cream door hanging, you see my kitchen! My kitchen is huge, you guys. Like, for what? Why do I need a big kitchen? I don't know. This 400 square foot studio does not need a big kitchen. But this is the vibe. My stove is right here. It's a really old stove. I changed the handles, and then I also painted these handles white. The paint is not that great, but... You guys can't tell. I'm not gonna do a close-up of it because I don't want to show you guys. So I just have some plants, utensils, and more plants. And then over here is my fridge with more plants on top and just some things right there on my fridge, some reminders. I have a rug. I had this rug right here because I don't know what else to do with it because I love it. I bought it online and I didn't want to return it, so I was just like, oh, I'll keep it. And then right here is my bar cart. So I have this mixology of astrology and then just some cocktail stuff and some wine at the bottom. And then I also have this little gallery wall. I'm so happy about this. It's so cute. It took me a while to find all of the things that I wanted in here. And then over here is my sink, so I have a bunch of plants right here again as well and a bunch of other stuff like kitchen stuff right here and just some cute little things, you know? I also use the top of the shelves as storage, I mean the cabinet as storage, as you can see right here. Um, I live in a small apartment, so I don't have any storage. And okay, so this is kind of funny, you guys. I have my bathroom door right here. My bathroom door is really big and heavy, and I took it out. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have known that I took this out a few months ago. And I replaced it with some Macrame door hangers. And yeah, this is the vibe. I have this little stool right here because I'm super short and I need a stool to get to places. So I have this door right here because it's really heavy and... I just can't bring it downstairs, so I use it as storage anyway because I have a vacuum and um, a mop right there, so it works, okay? It's a win-win situation. It's cute. I have this mirror here. It's a vibe, and I'm using it as storage, so that's the current situation. And then right here is my other hallway to get into my bathroom. As you come in, you see this black checkered rug and this boho planter with lots of plants in it. And then I also have this artwork. This is from Home Goods. And then I have this mirror that's from Target. And then here's my bathroom. So you get in with this macrame door hanging thing. I have some plants. I have like a few plants in here. And then this is how it looks. Sorry, my towel's wet because I showered today. But this is how it looks like. So I have this cute little towel rack. It's so freaking stunning. And then I also have a hanging plant right there. I also have this vintage frame with nothing in it because I don't know what to put in it. And then I also have like a white shower curtain. I got this like wood shower rod because it was white before and it was not a vibe. I don't know. I added this mirror right here because obviously this mirror is just way too tall. I cannot see myself in it or I can see myself but I can only see my eyes. So I got this mirror from a flea market and I'm using it as a mirror because obviously I need one. There's a sink right here and I just have a begonia plant right there. I have two plants outside because I can't get rid of plants. I told you guys I'm a plant mom and it's really hard for me to get rid of some plants. I also have some crystals right here and then some soap. And then over here, I just have like baby wipes, some room spray, and this is just a plug-in freshener to make the bathroom smell good, but it obviously doesn't fit, so I have to like angle it, and then I just have a clip, and then this is for when I brush my teeth and stuff and do my face, whatever, skincare. And yeah, I'm gonna do some changes here soon. You will see it later today. And then I also have this kiss me right here. If you guys have seen from my last apartments, I still have that because it's stunning. And then I have a propagation and an elephant and some plants up here because we love plants, you guys. Plants are vibes. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I pretty much showed you guys everything in my apartment. But now let me show you guys the updates I'm gonna do. I got a bunch of things from Urban Outfitters, including this. I literally just put this on like right before the video. So I'm excited about this. It's just a little tray so that I can do some work while I'm on the ground or something. And then I also got this really cute cushion. I love it. I love it so, so much. So I got this really cute wreath. It's so cute. I got it from Urban Outfitters. It's dried pampas and like a peace sign wreath. Like, how universal is this? I can use this like all year round. 
I'm so excited. So I'm gonna replace my mirror right here with this wreath. Okay, so there's not really like a hook or anything that I can latch it onto. Oh, it fits. Okay, how does that look? Okay, she's cute, but I feel like she's too small. I also don't like how you can see the peephole right here, and I feel like she needs to go a little lower. Okay, she's pretty cute. I like her. I'm hiding the peephole right here in the middle. Hopefully, it's okay. Um, maybe I should take this out. I feel like that is not a vibe. She's cute and festive. We love. Okay, so I also got this toilet paper holder for my bathroom for Urban Outfitters. Ah, it's so cute! I know it's gonna elevate my bathroom so much, so I'm so excited to show you guys. Let's add some toilet paper and put it into my bathroom. Ah, you guys, it's so cute! It literally ties into the boho vibe because of my plant right here and this boho planter and all of the other boho stuff. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love. I'm so happy. Okay, so I got this cute little spice rack from Urban Outfitters as well. And I'm going to replace my clock right here with this spice rack. I'm so excited, you guys, because I'm going to have some space for a drawer. I have a whole drawer right here full of spices. So I'm just going to add it here and I'm going to have extra storage. I'm so excited. But I'm also kind of sad because I don't know where I'm going to put this clock. I need a clock. I don't always have my phone on me, so I always need to know what the time is. So, I don't know, I'm gonna try to figure out where I could put the clock, but I'm so excited to add this spice rack. It's gonna look so cute. Okay, I'm not sure if it's gonna be fine with thumbtacks holding it, but we're gonna try it out. Okay, I don't think the thumbnail is gonna work. Okay, yay, I finally did it. I ended up using some screws because thumbtacks and nails were not gonna work out. So, let's go add some spice into it. And by spice, I mean the spices, duh. I'm pretty sure it's a little crooked, but this spice rack in general is already crooked itself, so whatever, I'm just gonna use it. Okay, yay, I'm satisfied. It took me like 20 holes, but it's okay. That's normal for me. Now I need to figure out where to put this clock. So cute. Okay, I decided to put her here temporarily because black and black, so why not? I need a clock in here, you guys, so do not judge this placement, thank you. Okay, and the last thing I got was this wallpaper, but I think I'm going to do it another day. I just want to show you guys how it looks like because I think this is going to take a while to do and I don't have that much time because I have plans today. It's this cute little checkered wallpaper and I'm going to put it on my fridge. Isn't it going to be such a vibe? So cute. I will update. Okay, this is like three days later, but I had the urge to move my bed again for like the 10 million time. I just moved here like literally 30 minutes ago. And this is the vibe. I still have a bunch of organizing to do because I literally just moved it. So I'm going to try to get rid of some plants again. And I'm going to move this lamp somewhere near my bed probably. Maybe like right here. I'll show you guys the end results, but this is the current situation. It's a beautiful sunny day in SF and we love it. All right guys, here is how it currently looks. It is beautiful, it is stunning, and I'm obsessed with this bed in the corner. I also added this little bench right here. It's kind of just a DIY, it's a bench, and then I added the day bed on top. I don't love it, but it'll do for now, so this is how it currently looks. I'm obsessed. Just stunning, 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 stunning. So I just got a bunch of stuff from H&M. They just sent me two boxes that I just got right now. And I got this box last night, so I obviously opened it already. And let me show you guys a little haul. Okay, first things first, I got this little pom-pom throw pillow. So cute. I already put her on there because she looks perfect right there. I have so many pillows, you guys. But I'm obsessed with all of the texture. Okay, I also got this linen blend blanket. She's so cozy and I love the colors and it also has these like little ruffles at the end. It's so pretty. It looks like it was just made. So I'm obsessed with this. Thank you H&M. And then I got this jute rug. It has little fringes at the end. It's pretty long. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet. Maybe in my kitchen. Who knows? And then I got this really big rug, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm not sure if I want to keep it or not. I might just give it back to them. And it's really big and I just rearranged so I don't really need another rug. Plus I just bought another rug. But she's pretty cute. She's cute and long. Very boho. Okay, I'm on the floor. But... Oh my god, they sent me another pillow. That is so funny. They sent me two on accident. The more the merrier, right? What else is this? Oh my god, I got my crane flat hanger. 
I'm so excited about this, you guys. This is so stunning. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I can't wait to add a plant in here. Look at the little braids. This is so stunning. This is probably the best my crane plant hanger I've seen. Oh, and then I also got a pajama set. It's so cute. I'm so excited to wear this. Oh my gosh. Cottage core vibes or what? And then it comes with these matching shorts. How stunning. Okay, let's open this. Oh, this isn't from H&M. I lied. <laughs> This is from a different brand, but I don't need to show you guys because this is just like fashion. It's not home decor, so it doesn't fit the vibe in this little vlog. I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm going to do the fridge sometime next week or maybe like on the weekend because it's a very hectic week. It's Thanksgiving week and I do not have time right now, but I'm glad to be back talking to you guys. I miss making videos and vlogs and doing all of this stuff and talking to the camera. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you like it and if I should keep doing more. Um, thank you guys so much for watching again i love you so much and i'm glad to be back i hope you guys have a great thanksgiving thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye i'm finally settled in and of course i've been settled in